Hi, this is a 4 minute video tutorial to show you how to use MathJax in Blackboard. So Blackboard is a widely used online learning management system that you can use to create and share course material such as learning modules, tests and assignments. With MathJax you can use LaTeX to create mathematical expressions and formulas from within the Blackboard environment and then share these with your students. LaTeX is a common language for authoring mathematical expressions but it must be processed into formatted mathematics for readers. MathJax takes care of this and will show nicely rendered equations integrated into your online learning material. These typeset equations can be readily understood by your students and they don't need to be familiar with LaTeX. It's very easy to use MathJax with Blackboard thanks to the MathJax CDN service. You don't have to install any files but just link directly to the CDN from within your content building blocks. In this tutorial I will show you how to do that. So for the purpose of this tutorial I've created a module on course sites which utilizes the Blackboard Learn platform, but the method that I will demonstrate also works in other implementations of Blackboard. So this is the homepage of my module which I've called Using MathJax in Blackboard. It's still empty since I've just created this course and so I'm going to add a content element which I will do by clicking on the content item in the menu on the left. Under these headings you will find lots of content elements that you can create, including learning modules, or a syllabus, but also tests and assignments. We've tested that MathJax works in individual items, learning modules, assignments, lesson plans, syllabi, including lessons, tests and blogs. For this tutorial I'm going to create an assignment. So this is the Blackboard editor that is used throughout the system. I'm going to use the HTML source mode view by clicking on this icon to switch off the text editor and then moving down a bit I select HTML. This allows me to insert HTML code and I will use that to link to the MathJax CDN. I am going to insert a code snippet that I will copy from the MathJax website at mathjax.org which I've opened up in a separate tab. On the MathJax website you will find the code snippet under resources, documentation, then select the latest version and go to getting started with MathJax. This page contains a lot of useful information on how to start using MathJax and also code snippets that point to the MathJax CDN. For this tutorial I will choose the secure access URL using the HTTPS protocol because Core Sites is also using that. So I'm going to copy that code snippet and then paste it into the Blackboard editor. So let me stress again that you will need to use the HTML source mode view editor rather than Blackboard's standard visual text editor. So make sure that this text editor switch is turned off and that you've selected the HTML input mode rather than smart text or plain text. So with the code snippet in place you can just type in expressions in LaTeX and MathJax will take care of the display. To demonstrate that I've prepared a note with some mathematics that I will copy from, but you could just type this in as well. So in this text you will see both inline LaTeX expressions as well as a paragraph equation which are included with different delimiters. Finally I need to give a title to this assignment and then scroll up a bit and click submit. Now switch off edit mode to let MathJax come into action and render these LaTeX expressions as nicely typeset mathematics. By switching on edit mode again, you can return to the HTML editor and make any changes that might be necessary. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and show that equation in more detail. By right clicking on the equation, you open up the MathJax menu, which contains additional functionality such as copy and paste. Please watch the MathJax copy and paste tutorial on mathjax.org to learn more. So that's it and you are now ready to use MathJax and Blackboard to include beautiful mathematics in your course material.